Got one. Got two. Got three. Now, if you haven't heard, the FR is the best gun in the game but not only is it the best it is taking the pro scene by storm every pro player is starting to use it the mp5 got a nerf and now no one is even touching the mp5 this gun is just does it all and today i'll be giving you guys the best class setup so you guys can dominate just like us and on top of it we're gonna have some awesome gameplay now as always guys make sure to leave a like especially if you enjoyed the video it helps me out a ton for the muzzle we're going to be running the socom eliminator for that huge boost in vertical recoil control someone told me to use this and i absolutely love it we're going to be running no barrel now bullet velocity and effective damage range doesn't really make a big difference at all unless it's very very far so running these attachments especially on the ar isn't that effective at all so we're gonna run no barrel no body as well steady aim laser you know it's kind of nice but when you're running five attachments chalk that as well for the underbrow we're gonna have the field agent grip for the huge boost in recoil control for the magazine 34 rounds you lose a little bit of uh, reload quickness but it's super super good obviously gives you more ammo we're gonna be running the serpent wrap here just for the huge boost in ads apparently the flinch resistance doesn't really do much and i've actually tested it it really doesn't so that way we have less cons for the weapon for the stock we're gonna run the suit key for the stock we can, we're gonna be running the stu oh my god i can't say the word we are going to be running the cqb pack cqb pad now for the stock we're gonna be running the cqb pad 30% to sprint fire time, which is awesome. The only thing I would recommend is run the Raider stock. I just haven't maxed out the weapon, so I don't have. Is the one attachment I would change. Now, obviously, if you do run Gunfighter and you add three more attachments, you can run whatever optical sight. You can run the, I would say, standard steady aim laser. And for the barrel, I would probably recommend the bullet velocity one. All right, now that I've shown you the best class, I'm going to show you why it's the best class and why this gun is so dominant. Absolutely just going to be having people. Alright guys, so we do got some check checkpoint hard checkpoint. Checkmate hard point. Oops, I stopped shooting. Checkmate hard point here. Now this is a very AR heavy map because I mean, heck, I mean if you have the freaking if you have this gun, it could be in any map for you. Got one. Got two. Got three. Got one. They couldn't get two. Oh, I took Oh my god. What is this? Ooh. Now the FR is basically like FAMAS from the BO1. I don't know if you want to say the Maddox from like BO4 in terms of like dominant, like the range it has. What is my teammate doing? He's quick scoping him. Like hit shoot him, brother. Oh, this guy right here. Let me show you guys how to do it. Bang. Bang. Oh, you had me. Almost pop a counter spy plane here. Hop up on this little box. Oh, oh, behind you. See you on my little radar. And this gun is just a do-it-all gun. I see it getting nerfed in the near future. It's actually nerfed the MP5. I mean, I understand why they would do it, but in my opinion, it's... Oh. He was one of the smartest. He's actually trying to run a knife. Oh, a knife with me. Oh, I picked it up. I said, sling. Pretty cool. Come on, brother. I got the do-it-all gun, brother. This guy's actually running around. Slide cancel this. Talon. Oh. 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 Who else? Pop the stim shot. Dude, this gun is actually insane. Like, this might be one of the best guns in Call of Duty history at the moment. And I know you can always say, well, there's been a lot of amazing guns in Call of Duty history. And then they eventually get nerfed. That is very true. It's, it, is a, it is a fact. I will not nor confirm more than I did. This gun is just actually absurd, man. Guys, and I just want to give a quick shout out, you know, because not only am I beaming the kids, beaming, beaming, but also a lot of you guys have been liking the videos, you guys have been enjoying the quality content, and I do want to appreciate you guys for the people who've been watching, liking, leaving likes, and enjoying them. That's honestly awesome, man. Look at the beams, man. It feels so effort effortless sometimes, bro. Like how, like, look at this guy a little right here. Look at this guy a little right here. Oh god, there's two of them. Oh god, I'm scared. Pop my stim shot. No, you're not going anywhere. 
He's not going anywhere. Oh, you're looking right now, ammo. The bullets. Kill you. Turn around. Ooh, got me. Obviously, I've, I've fallen in love with Call of Duty a little bit again going to Cold War because, man, I'll tell you, MW was just not it for me. You know, it wasn't like the worst game. Like, being like, being very just realistic and honest, like, it wasn't the worst game. Like, I, I genuinely did enjoy MW a bit. But, like, at a competitive level, I disliked it. And that was like, obviously, I'm a pro player. I compete at the highest level. And when I have to grind a game for hours and hours every day at a competitive level, you know, I want to be able to enjoy it, right? I want the game to be good. I'm dead. No! no. Oh, you ran out of ammo. Oh my god, oh my god, there's more. Cherry Blossom a lot. Look at that, folks. Would you look at that? So it goes without say, make sure to leave a like in the video, man. It's for you guys. Damn, I didn't kill nobody. <laughs> I didn't kill nobody. Bro, this game, you have insane, insane hops, bro. Like insane hops like the fact that you can jump up that high like i don't know if you guys ever noticed or tried jumping like high areas like i might be able to hear it again look at this like some places don't seem achievable achievable how high you can jump oh okay good shots for the grease the thing about the flinch resistance like, it does work a little bit and it does help sometimes Basically, what what's happening here is that like, you see how easy I'm killing this guy? Not, but seriously, basically what's happening is the gun itself, or the the resistant like you. This game has built-in flinch resistance already. There is no such thing as really like flinching in this Call of Duty as there was in past Call of Duties. And I really like that they implemented that this game because it was supposed to like pr basically produce consistency with like gunfights because obviously random flinches is just makes it sometimes random, right? Like you randomly flinch not only does it make it random because it's hard to really like every gunfight's gonna be the same but it also makes random headshots happen and with random headshots headshots do more damage and it's just it's a nightmare i stopped shooting this guy poor guy he's gonna just have to get shot again so basically no i saved you sir you're welcome sir i saved you so basically, um, the flinch resistance attachment does help more like me, like more longish range gunfights. Like, let's say from here all the way down there, like very far gunfights. It does help a little bit, but it doesn't necessarily help with like actual flinch. That's that's what it says, but that's not what it actually helps with. Oh, I almost choked. Your character reacts very little, and it's he, when you get shot at, your shoulder kind of flinches, and your body moves very, very so slightly, and that's what it kind of helps with. And it is pretty nice at times to have it, like I said. You don't think I'm that cracked, but trust me, I'm that cracked, brother. I'll push you. I don't give a damn. Oh. Ow. Nice little Kobe here. Oh, Lordy, look at that dominance close up, man. It's just so good, bro. It's so weird because this gun is like so. Well, this was a good first map. 25,000 scored, 10,000 damage, 79 kills. It did help that I was facing a couple of snipers. Even though sniping this game is pretty damn good if you, if you know how to use it. No recoil. Absolute kind of system third, man. That's good, bro. Let's fry them, buddies. Yo, where did stream at, Alex? What is your favorite map, guys? Obviously, if you got this far into the video, I'm kind of curious to what, you, what your favorite map is. But oh, wait until the end of the video to put it in the comments below. Make sure you keep watching this absolute dominant gameplay. And I'm just curious. Um, for me, I'm gonna have to go with Crossroads. I've really, I've really started to like Crossroads. You are peeking the wrong man, man. Wrong man, man. Now, it's funny because I always get like messages like, oh, the gun is so good in your hands. Like, yeah, okay. You know what? This gun is, <laughs> you know, if you're able to use it as full form, then yeah, it is absolutely even better. But honestly, anyone can use this gun. If you have the right attachments and you can just somewhat control recoil, because this basically has no recoil. Um, you can do the same thing I'm doing right now at a certain, to a certain extent, you know, I'm not going to say, you know, I guess.
gonna start absolutely destroying everybody in the lobby. Guy right side. Oh god. That's where I go for the world star eclipse. Oh god, there's a watch for me. Damn it! Oh my god, like that guy just got gunned to absolute bed. Like, can I get a drip? Can we get a light for that? Like, the guy just getting done to bed? Like, he's probably sleeping right now. A for effort. B for effort. More effort. I'll give you a B. This guy's top flat. I'm about to hop this up because we have hop in the game. Kill him. Kill you. Kill you. This is where I go rogue. Oh, super rogue here. What? He's, he must have just moved. Got you. This is a walk in a park. Is it crazy how they're supposed to there? Oh my god. I'm so sorry I had to beat me like that. I know you're upset at me. Hey, he's hacking. Hey, he's a cheater. I hope you don't think that of me. All right, like, can we get one thing straight as a community? As for the people who watch my videos, it takes forever to rank up guns, man. I've been using this gun on and off because obviously I do, you know, practice at the competitive level at, at a pro level, and I try to like get better and, and then and, like respawn in hard points and S and D, and I play tournaments. So I'm not always grinding and playing pubs, but dude, I've been using the FR for like three days or like two days on it, like three days on and off, pretty much, and I have it at level 44 three whole days and i mean i probably have like at least eight to ten hours of gameplay with it already and the crazy part is too like i get a lot of kills i fried lobbies like i'm i get 40 kills minimum every game so it's not like it's not like i'm like getting, oh i stopped shooting uh, he deserves that man hopefully that made him feel better but it's not like uh, you know i'm like i'm destroying kids uh, like it should be ranking them faster but nope you guys already know the vibes the best gun in the game until they nerf it will it get nerfed maybe soon because it's going to be used all over every public's hard points tournaments pro level it's going to be used a shit ton now especially with the mp5 being nerfed it's going to be it's probably going to get nerfed but uh either way hope you enjoyed it use the class trust me don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content more gameplay and more tips I'm going to try my best to keep grinding and keep shooting out Cold War content. I absolutely love this game, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, morning, wherever you are. Peace.